Yeah, this is this is the first. There will be a Daddy Moonshine too, because being dead is not the end of this man's story. To follow it up, for those of you who don't know, my father was buried. That's what happens to dead people. Usually they stay there, but no. Shortly after he was buried, reports of vandalism, which were not real, happened, and his widow, that's me not saying anything because I don't have anything nice to say. His widow dug him up, hid him for a month and a half above the ground, had a public memorial, including Hank Williams Jr., who admitted he didn't know my father, and then in a wooden horse-drawn carriage, which did look really cool, they drove him through Parrotsville, Tennessee, and buried him in the side yard of the house where he committed suicide, where the car is still sitting. My sisters and I have a real problem with this, and it is our intention to dig him up again and to drag him back over the state line and put him back at the bend in the river where it is obvious the man wanted to be. There is a footstone at the bend in the river that was, uh, that was replaced by mom corn. Um, there is not the footstone. The footstone is at the house. But Letha is in that cemetery. My grandparents are in that cemetery. Um, it's a really nice place. 